if, if we think about different types of ethics, a colleague of mine, and I wish I remember who it was, once said, whenever human dignity is threatened, you have an ethical matter. And another of our professors here always said the ethical question is about what does it mean to be true. And the definition of ethics that I always share is it's the formal study of who we ought to be in light of our identity. And that can be what does it mean for me to be a human? What does it mean for me to be a nurse? What does it mean for me to be an, ethicist, an ethicist, a Roman Catholic, a Georgetown employee? Um, so when I think about bioethics, obviously that's, you know, the whole ball of wax, whether it's life sciences at, you know, the molecular level or it's environmental ethics, it's how do we live together as, as not only humans but with all the rest of the created world. When we talk clinical ethics, then we're talking about ethics at the level of, we often say at the bedside, but people who are ill, who are in need of healthcare services, how we provide them. I think more of us are using the term healthcare ethics today. And so when I developed the Center for Clinical Bioethics now as its director, I'm thinking about healthcare ethics. What do we need to have in place to make healthcare work for people who need it? And so I have a Jesuit with a PhD in molecular genetics and a PhD in philosophy. I have a moral theologian. I have a retired federal judge. I have physicians, two nurses. So it's that interdisciplinary group that bring their particular expertises to how do we make healthcare work. Um, when I think organizational integrity or leadership ethics, then we're really looking. I, I say um, there was a Canadian priest and he said, the Irish have this saying, when you're teaching a child to walk, with one hand you raise them up, and with the other you cup their bottom so they don't fall. And I thought, what a beautiful vision of what leadership is about. Because it is creating that vision that calls us to be our truest, best self, whether that's as a healthcare system, as the professional organization of critical care nurses, but works to build the infrastructure, the culture, that supports people doing the right thing for the right reasons. And so leadership ethics, to me, is about creating that vision. That's the mission. It's our core values. It's what does it mean f for us to be true to the responsibilities the public invest in us. But then how do we grow a culture that supports everybody in realizing that vision?